this effect. I don't even have the microphone up near my face, so here we are. Alright, I barely remember what we were doing. Oh, we're going that way. I had my TV low, too. I couldn't hear anything. Dang, my console was hot. Oh no, watch out! For what? That, one, that hit him from that far away? Jeez. Oh, now they're taking some damage. So, how are y'all doing today after Thanksgiving? Today is Black Friday! Did a little Black Friday shopping myself. Like, one item. <laughs> My cats were playing at the doorway. I was trying to keep it closed, and they're like, no, we're going to play. But, uh, Everybody stay calm out there. Oh my god! Coming we're, out, we're not Don't armed. shoot us! Is it safe? Are they gone? <laughs> Stop right there! You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us mm, for this sure. Good. We owe you our lives. Uh, Skip! It showed up late. I have to go. Hey, Cole. Jeez, Blake. You have something Some to guys at the spaceport were... Conversation right. realized the ad did anything. Oh, look! Figured it would come in handy I if those some. came back. Give me a second. I gotta eat a cookie. You'll probably get more use out of it than we will. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. All right, I'm back again. Name. Sorry. It's there's important. like a little bit of the cookie left I want to eat. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport if he's still Goodbye. Alive. I have to go. Good luck. What do you give me anyway? Really? Sure. A stinger pistol. I don't care. Oh, let's get into the electronics. Let's see what's in here. I know, game. Thank you, though. It's going to keep telling me that until I sell all that, which I will. Any weapons I'm not using, I'm selling. Because, what's the point? Uh-oh. Oh no, he has to be dead. It's Come going on. through him. It's not us. No! The guy we just met is dead. It's Lurian. You know him? A Turian. He was with us in the normal. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't, don't shoot! I'm one of you. I'm human. Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. Yeah. I am sorry. Somebody got shot in the face, dude. From those creatures. My name's Paul. Don't. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one he got just said the other guy shot him. When your friend showed up, oh. he, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Where'd Saren go after he Can killed him? Can I just go cross out there for a he second? He jumped on the cargo uh -oh. train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had meant to find it, take the cargo train. Oh, some of these characters I need to get away are from all just this. dull. That hit the other one almost killed him. Not too much longer, and we get to level up again. And the issue is about the uh, powers in this game, you don't know when they're done cooling down. You just kind of have to look back and forth if you want to use them constantly. After all that damage, I only lost one bar of shield.
Shoot, I can use this pistol as a... Now look at this. He can run pretty fast in this game. Two, not so much. Hey, medical kit. I got a meta gel. Meta gel. Meta gel. Medi gel. Then after a little bit, you can't really do anything. And then we activate the train. And now we're off to the next place. Hey, dude. Accept the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence oh. that we were here. <laughs> the guy's like, okay. Why are you floating, sir? Clearly I know, I've beaten this game like four or five different times. He's just standing there. Humans attack dead. Must keep notice. Must attack humans. Why am I faced completely differently? I hate when it saves like that, it's just like completely ridiculous. You just press A, he crouches. And doesn't Hurry! We need to find there, them all and shut them down. It. And it's disarmed. How oh, did I get the other one behind the shield? Come on, dude. Come on. Oh. He dropped to one knee and died. Er, power down. I guess, since it's a synthetic. I've been playing uh, Digimon Cyber Sleuth lately. Actually, I probably only played like two hours. The other game I've been playing is uh, I played Reach with Bud last night. Uh, we did a stream. I helped him finish it off, and it I never known, but Legendary actually is not that difficult. I mean, yeah, you can die a lot, but it's not like the enemy is like super tough, it just means you take just as much damage as they do. And more. So. At least I got a taste of legendary now. But I've heard that the other Halo ones are a lot tougher. What's in here? Shotgun and assault. Game, shut up. Sell all your stuff or salvage it. You're better off selling everything. Make all the money you can off of it, and maybe get some uh, upgrades to the weapons you already have. Oh. Is gone. All charges have been disarmed. So you mean to tell me those four little bombs like that were destroyed? Right I'm so close to leveling up. So I probably already have leveled up and not even notice. Never mind. I just leveled up. <laughs> and I get one point. So should we put it for hacking or engineer? Engineer or Reduces time for all tech and hacking, which I'm almost done with. Uh, lower sabotage, recharge time for overload. Sab I said sabotage time. So let's go with that. We'll finish that one off. Uh, I wasn't here. Eventually, the game's going to stop me and be like, nope, you can't create more things. A shotgun, assault rifle, and a snipper. Take them all. Alright. What's in here? A sniper rifle and assault rifle. Oh, I can't take any of them. Then reduce them. But I can take this one. What? Okay, whatever. Here comes the cutscene. Put my controller down for this one. And I'm gonna go silent so y'all can hear what they're talking about when they do talk. So, I'll see you once the cutscenes are over. Normandy. The beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by.
Shepard! No, don't touch him! It's too dangerous! We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Doctor, Dr. Chakwas, I think he's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. Okay, so technically the cutscene's over. About 15 hours. I can come Something back. Happened down there with the beacon, I <laughs> Sit here and talk a little bit, I it's guess. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Um, just give a hint yeah, to everybody. No I'm going to be romancing Ashley Williams. But since she's only Ashley in a single scene Ashley's of the second, the second game, I won't be romancing anybody. We'll never get the chance to find out. So. The beacon I just like her more as a character. Over, she's more of the military the type. The lieutenant and I carried like, back some people are like, oh, you should pick Miranda. Why? Because she's the typical hot chick? I appreciate it. She's the typical... Okay, she's fine. the typical army chick, but, but still. I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal but that's what I'm going for. I originally I went for uh, Tally when I played through it movement. on the 360. And then I realized you couldn't romance her in the first one, which is freaking stupid. I but saw. you can in the second and third. The only sure person that you can romance yeah. all three, I think, is, uh, Actually, might be Garrus, really which hmm. I'm not romancing a guy. This to my report. It may... Oh, Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd hope the is going like, to be fine. Weird graphical Glad thing underneath their eyes or in Shepherd their I eyes, if it. anyone ever notices. It's right. weird to me. I, I don't I know what it you. is. I'll be in the mess if you need me. I thought she said I'd be in the men's area. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I'll live. I won't. I'm also going to take the short routes of the conversations as much as I can. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed in Gether. Otherwise, this let's play is going to be a lot Council's of dialogue. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully, the council. <clears throat> and if see anyone that. uh like Skyrim but I'll have not you and your gotten the uh you're a damned hero, game yet. I think at GameStop like and digital wise, it's thirty dollars. So now's serious. the best time to get it. Saren's a specter, one of the best. It's, it's a pretty good deal. Living yes, I already had it for the. But if he's working with the gift, a physical copy. Means he's gone but I sold it for like thirty-three dollars, and so I bought it for thirty. So. Saren's dangerous. It's whatever. And he hates no, I didn't people. sell it and then buy it. Be, he didn't come just to crime because he Meaning hates a humans. couple weeks ago, I did sell it. You're right. Saren has allied himself with the gift. I don't know how. So. I don't know why. Let's then talk a little bit. Something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? Um, a vision warning. I saw a Why sense. not? Because <clears throat> technically yeah, the same as both. Gosh, Shepard's face right there with that Butcher light right glowing on his cheek makes him look like he's missing we a need part to of his face. To the council, what are we going to tell him? I had a bad dream? 
We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology, blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know This is why my episodes are going to be a little bit longer, because there's going to be a lot of sections of this. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. Like, there's, there's one area where... War. He you have to basically to talk for the first, like, 30 minutes to pretty much get access to a certain area. The face of the galaxy. So, I'll probably I'll put it in the description. This, this episode is dialogue him. heavy. He's you can second. skip it if you want. You're you not missing anything. anything. Almost anything. That's why we need the council on our side. And it's just this game. We proved Saren's gone rogue. Two and three and really don't have that bad of dialogue I'll heavy stuff, unless you do like side Let's missions that are that way. With the like one with uh, Samara, see us as soon as we reach the where her we entire part close. is, her entire Head section is basically try and seduce dark. her daughter. Yes, that sounds weird, and it is. All right, now we get to be Shepherd again. Hey, Commander. Hey, what's up? I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a Now with her, I'm gonna have crew. to go through all the Part romantic of me feels ones guilty and all that stuff. Happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot for me. Basically, to woo a character in these games, you just take one of the top sections right there. The ones in blue, especially. When the blue ones pop up, you pick it. Now, some characters like the red. Like, like he's trying to seduce Jack, who is a girl. Her name, her full name is uh, Jacqueline Niece or something like that. I had to look it up. I'm like, who is that person? It's like, oh, that's Jack's real name. I have to admit, I so, it, was a little so that's the only way to really to seduce Norman. someone. Not seduce, it's but it's uh, nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're gonna fit in eh, here just fine, maybe. Williams. Thanks, Commander. You're welcome. All right. Am I able to go downstairs? Yep. There's only two parts to this one, and there's like five or six in the other two. They combine level two and three together. And then you have level five. So, ba so basically, you have only two sections in this game, and then five of the other. There's no captain's quarters because there's there's virtually no customization in this game, other than the way your armor looks, which you can buy. All right, we're gonna go to this dude. Hey, Skip most of his dialogue because I don't care. Looking for some extra supplies? What are you? You expect me to pay? Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have <laughs> hell, the license is alone. Of Let's He's like, oh, my stuff doesn't come from here. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and sell everything. And yes, I do have a lot of money, but that's because I get a lot of stuff. No wonder why I have a bunch of crap. I have a bunch of low price stuff, and now we're getting to the heavy price. Good lord. Now my money's just going. I have a level 5 of that. Uh, let's keep at least one of those, just in case. I don't know what level my, the one I currently have is. It, what did that say? Oh, that was an old weapon, never mind. Uh, um, might need to keep that too, just in case. Goodness. Yeah, I, I kind of wish they would have brought the ammo system from this game into the next one. Polon? Oh, so I do have an, a higher level of it. Oh. Maybe I accidentally got rid of that too. Um, we'll keep... What's this one? That's it. Get rid of that. And we're good. Got all that money. Um, is there a good light one? I don't know if I already have that or not, but let's go ahead. Grenade upgrade? Was that the carry more? Sure, why not? Sure, why not? See, and basically most of the weapons that he already has, I already have. Like, that's level 7. 
and I have level 7. Alright, let's see what kind of stuff we just get. That sniper rifle was a whole lot better. Even though I don't use sniper rifles, I'm going to have a sniper rifle. Um, so the armor I just bought is weaker than what I already have. Well, uh, I don't use shotguns, but look at that damage! 300. Um, pistol... I'm still trying to remember all the buttons. So I have six. I'm going to seven. Did that upgrade at all? Yeah, okay. Good. Uh, no. Okay. Alright. Now we have to go uh, see the... 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 I'm gonna say console. The council. There's no one else down here. <sighs> go back up. And yeah, at the first part of this game, it's usually just a lot of dialogue and stuff until you get to the meat of it where they tell you, hey, you're this, you're this, you're this, you need to go do this. Uh, I'll get it. I'll get as far as the, the the council, and then we'll call it there. I know I hate that. Pretty much the first part is all but dialogue. <clears throat> the second and third ones make up for it completely. Oh, well, the second one does. Third, I don't remember. To be honest, I don't remember how. How is it? Oh, it does start with a lot of action. Never mind. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, talk joker. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. <clears throat> Y'all can hear my cat, and he's like right here at me. Got a, a pet gate, and they haven't once jumped over it. Which I'm glad for, because I don't want them to jump over it, and then parents are like, Hey, you need to take them back in there. We're going to leave them back in your room. So at least this way, there's... They can just walk around back here. He's a, he's a vocal one when I'm recording, but she isn't. She knows when I have this thing on my head, she's, she's not talking. The size of that ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. So, I got a question for all y'all, uh, if anyone's even watching or anything. Uh, tell me if I should skip dialogue. Yes, I know what's going on, but you guys may not. So that's my concern. I know what's going on, I know what they're going to say, I know all this stuff. But, uh... I just want, I just want to know if y'all think I should skip it so we can get the action. Roger, Alliance Tower. So, let's see. I'm going to SR1. I kind of wish they go into the backstory of the N7 thing. Or hell, even the backstory of the Spectres. I mean, they do talk about them a little bit, like all this their. This is an outrage! Well, they'll find out. The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. But yeah, seriously, these... Captain the Council Anderson, people, they're real... They're the really corrupt crew. and really ignorant. That's the ground team from Eden Prime. In case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like I'm looking directly at my cat and he's just like, hmm, I'm just gonna sit down right here. Oops. Seren's a threat to every Yeah, we're reaching the 25 minute mark. We, he needs to we be got stopped. a little bit of shooting in the there, Council but that's has it. To listen to us. Settle down, Commander. 
You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. And if I do get bored at some point of doing this, Prime meaning, was a chance like, to prove you could get uh, the job some done. Action Instead, and all that stuff. I'll pop in. Dead and the beacon was destroyed. Oh, no. Any shooter That's that Saren's I own. Not his. Other than Halo. Then we better hope Buzz the Halo investigation on that turns up evidence to support our He's a huge Otherwise, Halo fan. Use this as an excuse yeah, I like Halo and everything, but my series is Gears Come of War. With me, Captain. That's the one I, I love the most. A few things before the hearing. Shepard, Mario. you and the others can meet Mario's us at the like Citadel Tower. Top level. Go-to guy. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. Mm, yep. That's right, Kid Cat. And that's why I hate politicians. Alright. Now we have to travel to them. Good God. For some reason. Uh, check out Xbox. If y'all have, a, if anyone has an Xbox, check out the deals they have going. If you have a little bit of money on you, buy, buy, buy a game. Uh, Skyrim is actually half off. The game just came out this month. Um, there's a taxi thing over here, isn't there? We are going to the council, so we're going this way, or we can just use the Citadel Rapid Transit. Which is basically our fast travel place. But there are some times you can't use it, or there's some places you can't go in it. See the load, the loading and saving this game is just a little stale. Hey, Saren's hiding something. I mentioned him Give earlier. Me Garrus. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Executor. Is over, huh. Garrus. I like their little animation when they walk away. It's like. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. I like Garrus' armor, though. That's the reason why I want uh, Andromeda to be the way, like, Dragon Age uh, 1, one and 3 were. Where you can choose to raise a character you can play as. I've always liked that. Even though I still chose human, there were some times I want to be like, hmm, maybe I should play this character. Basically, we'll just go up here. Udina's standing or sitting. That's not Udina. Udina's over here. Is way out here for some reason. And you don't ever see this chamber in any of the other games. There's... Or... Anderson. The hearing's already started. Come on. I do, I do really do enjoy the Mass Effect games. They're the Geth amazing. Is a, of a lot of people didn't like the end of the, the third one, Saren's but I'm like, it's whatever. Anyway. It was still a great experience throughout. I'm not going to get no a lit 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 games please. ending the final. Like, oh, it had a shitty blood. ending, so it was still enjoyable. Get reports, over it. The testimony of one like, reviewers hated on it just for that. It's like, no. Love the game because it gave an Nihilus amazing an experience. And a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. Did anyone else notice he has, like, the, the body of a geth? You're the one who destroyed the beacon. Then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson, he's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. My dude has Your some really lazy eyes. To learn its place, His right eye keeps moving around and it's weird. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. Saren's hiding behind his position as a Spectre. You need to open your eyes. What we need is evidence. So far, we've seen nothing. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? <laughs> How can I defend With my against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and of evidence, course you agree, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. 
Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. Dick. You'll see a lot of that in this game too. They protect, they protect Saren through the end. And there's a decision that has to be made at the end of the game. I'm it like, was a mistake bringing you into tempting. that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too Which much I will be making that decision in this game. Clearly, because you don't have a choice. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? Think of the Spectres as, like, special forces right. or Black Ops people. You can't really touch them, touch them unless you have like full-on evidence that they did something Zero. wrong. Any idea but if someone, it? say, I in the Army or the Marines, gets accused of something, they'll immediately go after him. The only people that can protect him is their own. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore and yes, I do apologize to so much Shepard during all these times this. we're talking, but there's subtitles for a reason. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. I thought you said he was a drunken loser. Couldn't hurt to go talk to him. Just be careful. I wouldn't call him reliable. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. All right. Well, now we know what we have to deal with. We have to find evidence to get Saren disbarred as a Spectre, meaning he will be kicked out of the entire Alliance thing altogether. But until then, until the next episode at least, I will catch y'all then. This is Nick. See you later.